Amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, man, congratulations, obviously, to 3-inch Richard for proceeding. But a huge shout out to Sir Flaming Goats. Literally, unranked player, like, have like just came out of nowhere here in Edmonton, placing as far as he did for this bracket, doing so well. He is like the best yellow square in Western Canada. <laughs> yeah. The best yellow square. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I agree for sure. Like, it, it absolutely well played. Well done. Uh, well I'm done. definitely looking forward to seeing more of Sir Flaming Goats uh, as uh, time progresses uh, because uh, he definitely had a lot of right decisions. Uh, in terms of uh, some some pressure, but I feel like a little bit of the defense was lacking in terms of getting caught on like the counter and sometimes as, uh, in center stage situations where he was really getting uh, pressure a little heavy. So mm -hmm. I think when he goes back and watches this, he's going to learn a lot mm -hmm. and uh, people should definitely be expecting some real problems out of him in the future. But right now, bronzy has got to be feeling good about that. Yeah, we got the next match coming up. Uh, yeah, and certainly like he's going to have these VODs to look after too. And I mean... The other thing as well is because he's the Cinderella story, he was the underdog to make it in this bracket. There is also a lot of pressure. Like if you're not used to playing in this kind of environment when all eyes are on you, when you're playing in a high pressure situation, you know, if that takes some getting yep. used to as well. Um, whereas in contrast, Three Inch Rich has been in grind finals in the past. He's always been in top eight. Like it's just another tournament for him. So, but uh, yeah, to echo what you said, I think we're gonna see a lot more of Sir Flame and Goats moving forward. But uh, yeah. It it's uh it's it's a little bit of different environment too because you're at home compared to like the crowd around you but at least the best crowd that we have here right now is being able to see the chat and know that the kids who are currently getting some help out of this are watching and have some fun too and we have another great one coming up for you it's gonna be a ditto off the lead from brian t and bronzy both leading with the base vegeta a little bit different on the team comps but both very very good team comps at that yeah both these are great and speaking of great Base Vegeta and Bardock Beasus, that is a match made in heaven. You get the 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 50-50 right off the bat, just like you would with the, the Kid Boo uh, assist. But uh, there's a lot more versatility, I think, with this team using uh, Bardock mm -hmm. Beasus with how quickly it comes out and that it's full screen tracking. Yeah, and you still have, and besides the assist, you still get the ability to have the character that is Bardock yeah. for work. Yeah, Apparently yeah. he has just taken all of this damage. Um, and a classic Once again, Bardock, yeah. Wake like, up, Mash! Like, <laughs> the amount of times he's successfully gotten the, the wake up buttons mm -hmm. has been absolutely amazing. Like, you gotta you got really give credit to the confidence of Brian T to not get mixed on those situations. Mm. Or really just forcing Bronzy and other players to make it so he fears them in that spot in the yeah. first place. He should not be getting away with wake up, Mash as much as he is, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> But you know what? You'll take that every time, much like you'll take that first death. That's going to be Trunks going down, and Bronzy is going to be looking at uh, a half-decent deficit. Still plenty of resources uh, on deck with the meter and sparking, but you, like it's it's not the best position you want to be in, much like right now where you're being taken for a full ride by Vegeta once again. Yeah, there's that Bardock assist. So good, and there's a dead base Vegeta. Yeah, getting caught once again in uh, Bronzy now looking at a pretty decent deficit. However, we've already seen Yamcha do mm -hmm. so much work as we're already seeing as it begins. It seems like Yamcha is only allowed to play uh, once <laughs> he is the last character. He's got to make sure that he shows up everyone else in the shell, yeah. much like Vegeta just now. Yeah, I mean, that was a fully stacked Yamcha. Full cucumber, sparking, seven bar. But uh, still lots of resources on deck here for Yamcha. Certainly something... Um, a, a comeback is certainly possible here. Exactly. Yeah, we've like we said before, we've already seen it multiple times where we tried to doubt Yamcha and, and, and the young lord put in that work. Uh, but here's the thing: base Goku is a problem, and that meter is also mm, a huge problem. Except for when you drop a combo like that, and you saw he was waiting to try and punish mm -hmm. him on sparking, but he did not take the bait. At least we can count on Brian to drop some combos here. So that's a. Uh... That, those are some opportunities for Bronzy to take advantage of. But uh, mm, just not enough. I feel like if he sparks off of his hit, he would have had enough meter for the level 3. And uh, not only yeah, would he have survived up, this yeah, right exactly. here, too. He would have survived. He would have killed Goku. He had a lot of blue bars. So 
the last that's really the toss up because like mm -hmm. if it works you look like a genius but if you get lost you mm -hmm. look at that you you have to stare at that sparking mm -hmm. uh and go man i wish i used it but it's one of those things where he was trying to make sure he held on to yeah. it so that way it was last character with sparking on both sides unfortunately didn't work out for him that's gonna be game one going to brian t You see Bronzy mm, really taking the initiative this time yeah. over, but it... <laughs> That's oh my great God. character knowledge Good. as well. Like, he tries to do the fake setup with base Vegeta when you whiff the, uh, the 2-8 on, on, as you, uh, decline. But that was mm -hmm. a great, a uh, good, uh, delay stand from Bronzy to take advantage of that. Oh, pop and sparking early! Yeah, not trying to deal with another early character loss because you saw the way, like, the amount of effort he had to put in. And I think with the, the Yamcha in the back, he feels confident that if he gets them down to, like, maybe a two-character situation, he'll be just fine. So, you know, hold on to that base Vegeta, get that damage, and it's really working for him so far. Yeah, like we said before in uh, Bronzy's matches, he's, he, he plays a top-heavy team. He puts all of his resources mm -hmm. into base Vegeta if he can. And uh, that's, yeah. that sparked an early sparking from Brian T as well here. So sparking no longer on the table once this is out. Oh, but we got a double Sunday. Is he going to snap? Yes. 40% of Yamcha's bar gone. And that's that's huge in itself. Even Every single little bit of damage on that Yamcha is so important. You get that assist offline. You get really the best uh, comeback character he has. And you have six bars of damage with no sparking. You have a lot to put yeah. on here. Level 3 mix. What's he gonna do? Oh! oh, oh he oh, didn't believe! But... He tried to do a dial combo, kind of OS the situation, but uh, he didn't Yeah, believe, just trying but... to make sure he had options yeah. select covered all the way through, but the first one was mm -hmm. the right one, and that's gonna be a little bit more chances. Bronzy's gonna get out of there. Yamcha's gonna stay alive. Alright. Now Bronzy's the one in. Uh, Bronzy's the one taking Brian to the corner here. What's the mix? Oh, nothing. Back to Nuke. AC. Oh, the sword swing, but no. Yeah, you see Bronzy just trying to reset the situation Ooh! and baits the reflect. Base Vegeta, what oh are you doing? Goodness. Get them hands on my face, Dad. I am grown now. You can catch these hands too. That was actually incredible too, because that's the uh, that's the change the future faint. And of course, when you mm -hmm. see that, you expect change the future to hit you in the face, and you you react and you yeah, literally like, looking, <laughs> looking, yeah. reading in the future, much like he read that he was not going to get that tech right there. Brian T, even though we've seen him get out of a lot of those and wake up with buttons, not going to be able to right there because you're going to get caught on the dome piece. And Brian T going down currently three characters, the one nope sparking on deck, five meter, uh, five bars, but still a very difficult hill to climb. All right. Oh, and a huge sliding M is going to take it here, unless Bronzy drops it. I don't yeah, want to... I'm, I'm crossing my fingers here. No commentator's curse. Okay, great. Honest, okay, here it goes. Okay, yeah. honestly, I was, kinda, I was waiting off because we're, we're, like, we're like five for five. And when you have said... As long as he doesn't drop here, and then immediately yeah. drops, yeah. I was like, okay, let me not let me not let it happen. So we got a W on Bronzy's side. Great job making adjustments there. Uh, really, it was a big part of it was just utilizing that sparking early on, not losing that base Vegeta. Really changed the way that the whole situation was working because otherwise he would have been down and was getting cooked by Brian. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, oh he is held on to that mix the entire mm -hmm. time. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, you are not. You're not taking that, but unfortunately. Combo. There was that so much damage left on the table, unfortunately for him yeah. right there, and that's the. But you know what? Uh, hey, let's see if he can maybe reset it. Oh, <laughs> caught, caught pressing buttons, ex rocket kick, baby. Yeah, but you know what? Not really too much out of it though. So then that works out just well for Bronzy. We so even though it took the ex rocket kick. Nice, oh, great wow, what? Yeah. They yeah, buffed, they that... buffed that. They buffed that season three. They made it uh, work a little bit more consistently against uh, anti-air. So this, it has anti-air properties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a really good decision in that spot too, right there, because uh, and Brian could have just tried to delay and maybe go for punish afterwards, but instead, Bronzy knew that he was going to go for that switch in there, looking for him to come down. Right, level three, going for the hard knockdown. Do you think that, like, we already see one sparking pop. Uh, it yeah. is base Vegeta, so we might see it popped here just to make sure that he doesn't drop it. Yeah, yeah. Mix, there it is. Yeah. Oh, and the empty jump, but good blocks from Brian here. 
decides just to keep the pressure on oh, and the gets him once again. Mm -hmm. Not enough for the three bars though. Nice reflect raw tag. Oh my goodness, we are flashing all over the place here. Classic base Vegeta. <laughs> Amazing movements. Oh, oh he tried like to challenge the Super Dash with the light there. Yeah, and I like the fact that Brian T, after realizing how much he was getting caught a lot there, decided to back off. Didn't really want to just keep uh, staying up next to Bronzy because last thing you want to just get caught off guard when he has meter advantage. Oh. Nice overhand, and uh, if he has the optimal combo here, he should be able to just kill Yamcha. Oh, he drops it though! Oh my god, I am so tired of how many times I'm uh, commentating cursing this, man. Oh my goodness. I think the way you just, you just gotta reword it, it's like, oh man, this looks really cool. Like, what a, <laughs> what a, what a great thing. Oh, he didn't drop it, like, at the end. <laughs> but you know what? We just still gotta rock it with the way we can. And uh, Bronzy currently with three bars mm. on deck. Uh, looking for hopefully, I, I think he's trying to hunt down a swap in to maybe to get to that Bardock yeah. and try to get that damage on because uh, he's you're not looking at a very healthy uh, base Vegeta and your assist from Yamcha is already gone. But you don't get a chance to even bother with that because Super Dash is going to carry you all the way over. Yeah. Where's he going? Oh, the 6M assist. Classic. Also, a very good tool for online. Difficult to react to. Alright, level 1, level 1, level 1. There we go. Uh, four meters and a base Vegeta in a dream. <laughs> so yeah. that is pretty much what Bronzy has right here. Like you said, he is pretty top heavy, but unfortunately doesn't have the assist to really set up and you gotta hold all these mixes. Good job yeah. of somehow getting out of there. Well, yeah, this is really tough. Oh, and there's the major 2H. Okay. Yeah, it was one of those situations where the writing was kind of on the wall. Like you could do as much as you can, but uh, it, where, where Brian T was sitting, uh, with the resources that he had, that, that one was looking kind of written uh, and done for. But Bronzy had an amazing adjustment yeah. game two. This... Really tore it apart. So let's see if we see a replication of that or if Brian actually just takes this 3-1. Yeah. Man, Brian's team, This is that is 100% a season three top tier team, man. Like That's essentially mm -hmm. like the uh, Sonic Fox Space Vegeta team, but instead of using the Kid Blue Assist, you just replace it with the Bardock the assist, and you get the same same tools, and then you also get Bardock. And looking very much. Oh, never mind. Never yeah, mind. yeah, yeah, see, yeah, yeah. I, see, can't, see, I was see, I was getting ready to get it started. We can't say anything as casters. <laughs> we can't say anything as casters. We can just talk about how cool the game looks. Hey, you know, hey, it, it's aesthetically <laughs> pleasing. By the way, Arc Systems, I don't know what the, who, who needs to get a hold of uh, the right people, but we need more anime fighters like this. Yes, please stop please. giving us 3D fighters. I know, man. I, that's what I kept saying to the chat when we first started. It's like, there's a, there's a reason why I love this game so much, because they could have very easily have just done another arena fighter, slapped yeah, an icon on Budokai it. We could have had Budokai Turbo times yeah, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 11, slap the brand on there, slap the IP, and just be done with it. But they put so much time into this game. Every exactly. move is like a manga reference, an anime reference. It's amazing. Exactly. Instead of uh, playing through the Cell Saga for the 15th time, even though we yeah. all love it, we get to watch as base Vegeta continues to cook uh, GT Goku. But with the sparking on deck, you want to try and utilize as much as you can here. But good defense by Brian T. Going good. for the jump in the corner after getting knocked down Aye. instead. And gets the stagger into the There's just uh, too the much to rush. look out for. There's too much luck for. You block the 6M. There's a Bardock assist waiting for you. And then you mm -hmm. get opened up by Dragon Rush. Oh, but he doesn't connect with the super. Oh, again. Yeah, that's a huge Ooh, drop of good wait. defense waiting for the switch. Mm -hmm. Waiting be for the swap. raw tag. Lovely. Oh, decides to go for the mix-up instead to keep the pressure on. Good defense so far from Bronzy, and that time is going to actually tech it. Yes, yes. Good adaptation from both players. They're so dialed in right now. Oh my gosh, that whiff! Yeah, and even so, with the whiff, you still have to respect. Yeah. It's like, okay, hold on, let me wait a second. If I move too quick, I might get hit. But you're going to get hit anyways. The level 3 is not going to miss this time. And uh, no sparking, so he's got to hold the mix up. But he's gone. Let's see, he's gone overhead a few times. He's gonna, is he gonna go? Oh! Hey! Wait to try and look for the he dragon. To do a on major read, a major read, <laughs> and he got it. He was just a little too uh, quick on it. Yeah, just a little bit out of position, unfortunately for him. But it's okay because he's still able to finish his food and uh, get rid of that trunks meter advantage in favor of Bronzy, but sparking and character advantage in favor of Brian T. Yeah, this is looking pretty rough. Oh, great counter to the Lariat. Big damage here. 
Decided to go for the cross up, but a little bit out of position, but it's okay because you got him again. Good job from Bronzy, like really mitigating the damage, not taking too much in exchange, and only needing to use the one bar at the end there to close that out, and uh, really just keeping this game pretty, uh, yeah, this pretty is, even. This is even. It's uh, the, the difference here is the sparking, but uh, Bronzy's careful, and he's not afraid to cap, so he can certainly yeah. time Brian out, time out the sparking once it's busted open. And, yeah, uh, honestly, also wasted. in terms of characters, the, oh, in terms of uh, the, the <gasps> last two anchors being available, I'm favoring Bronzy here. I mean, granted, base Vegeta might uh, actually is going to go down here, but that was the, an unbelievable has dragon been rush. such a problem. Yeah, that was an unbelievable dragon rush to just grab the landing. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, Brian has been so confident, like, yeah. on wake up on situations like that but now he has to make sure he plays correctly like we've we've stated before half bar is yamcha's best friend mm -hmm. and you've got to just keep making sure you don't get caught j yeah. just sleeping oh amazing oh fetchies from Brody. did you see the, the ground game there he was so the ready exactly the amount of patience both of them waited and he knew that was finally the time where the uh, the super dash was coming in and he catches him on the same side with the uh with the dash excuse me the oh wolf fist. my goodness now, this is great health. too like yamcha is actually pretty scary with the new meter change because full screen you can get smacked by wolf Fang fish if you whip anything so oh just like that reflect oh wolf Fang fish god he doesn't have a bar though Oh so my gosh, he did the cross up, he, but he didn't get the connection. That would have been it. Oh my goodness. Hey, he has half a bar. Oh! Yeah, he's just, oh, here we go. Just drag. Oh Whoa! my god, Super Dash right Whoa! in on the attempts. Seven Whoa! balls means nothing to a brave Yamcha. Bronzy Yamcha, with the amazing, the amazing game. F. Bring in this to game number five. What the F? The number of Yamcha comebacks we have seen tonight, truly. We're, we're living in the Yamcha Izakai uh, world right now. Exactly. I, I think I might have provided a power-up just pop, popping it in there. Also, uh, I think I saw it in Yamcha. there earlier. Yeah, Rubik's and uh, and uh, Amari. That's exactly what I was getting at. Uh, <laughs> whether y'all like the show or not, Naruto fighters would break yes, apart the uh -huh. internet and, mm -hmm. and the bank for Arc Systems. So, ga game number five here. Uh, Bronzy currently being forced in the corner. This base Vegeta is really what we've seen him use the spark out multiple times, but he's going to get caught by the mix with the Dragon Rush. That is the second time that Brian is able to catch him with that. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he wants he's going to go oh, for this time. Delay stand to pop the sparking. Spark Doesn't want to take the mix. He needs to keep, keep base Vegeta alive here for game five. It is scary though. I mean, you just, yeah. you just spent sparking. Your, your opponent has three cucumbers. Like... It's an uphill battle now, even though you, you saved your character. Yeah, and just the aggressiveness of being in the corner after being pressured, knowing that Bronzy didn't really have anything there for him, super dashing right at him and able to switch position because of oh. it. Oh, yeah, good job that time, actually pressing buttons to make sure to not get Dragon Rush for a third time. Yeah, timing slightly off for base Vegeta's assist. Usually change the future and the base Vegeta's assist will connect, but now he's... Oh, but again! <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. The reset no. was the, the reset was there. He was just layering the mix oh, up. That's gonna be a two H into no. another death. Reading him on the way out of the corner there. Bronzy now down two oh kick. Really, I feel like Bronzy only decides to play the game when he decides to bury himself in the corner with no resources and only Yamcha. But right now, this is not what he wants. Sparking and lots of meter on deck. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Brian cash out a lot here. Mm, level three. It's just scary. Yamcha gets hit here, and it's game over. And it might actually just be the set. Yeah, honestly, I feel oh, like... Oh, no! Oh, my God! You the take it last rush. time, but not this time. That's going to be the end of Yamcha. Gets the two oh, meters. It doesn't even really need to spend both to get that damage on deck. goodness. Brian T really changing things up with these Dragon Rushes. Getting the timings where he needs them. Bronzy looking oh at only Trunks uh, with no sparking for that clutch comeback. For the ability to really mix people up on that weird positioning where he could go. Uh, let's see if he... Let's oh, that's it. That's crazier it. Things, but that's not this it. time. And it's over. This set has finally come to a close. And with a tremendous lead for this game five, Bri Online Brian finally takes it. What a battle. That was literally, that was honestly just a pure battle of, of endurance and attrition. I mean, yep. there's only, like, you can only be so dialed in to tech every throw, to, like, yeah. block every overhead, to, to block every mix. Like, 
There's only so long you can go until you just start cracking, frankly. Yeah, there's just there's endurance. only one person in the world who consistently block, uh, just text out that many. <laughs> and that's uh, Doichi, it, man. It, it, it's, yeah, that happens to be the Goichi, best player in the world. Yeah, you will so, get up, yeah. Yeah, it, oh it's it, like gosh. you got to give credit. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Bronzy did an amazing job really holding it down for so long. But I've, like you said, eventually the wheels come off and the defense starts to crack. And you can only attack him so many times. But what a great game from Brian. Really kind of catching on to a lot of the habits that it seemed like Bronzy had. Um, and getting rid of the problem that was the Yamcha there on the second character. Shutting down the comeback factor. So yeah, that was um, he's gonna be moving on. Yes, that was just that was just strong adaptation from online Brian. Frankly, going into the last game there, confidence, yeah. confidence, adaptation for a clean, clean win.